In this video, I will show a brief guide to cardiorespiratory objective assessment. The examination will be performed on a healthy person. I will begin an examination with observing patient's chest and the respiration in sitting position. Observe the rate, rhythm, breathing pattern, work breathing and accessory muscle use. Remember that inspiration to expiration ratio in healthy patients is 1 to 2. However, in patients with airway obstruction, it might be 1 to 3 or even 1 to 4. Next, I observe for any signs of scoliosis, kyphoscoliosis and shape of the thorax and symmetry. Observe the patient's neck for contraction of sternocleidomastoid muscle. Normally, these should not be contracted. Then inspect the position of the trachea. Next, I will examine temperature of the hand, radial pulse, and a capillary refill time. You can also examine finger clubbing. Just ask the patient to put two fingernails together. Finger clubbing is associated with a number of diseases, mostly of the heart and lungs. There is a mnemonic for the main causes of finger clubbing. The mnemonic is C L U double B I N G, while the L has an extension of A B C D E F. Now I will Examine patients' anterior and posterior thorax using tactile phrametus test. Tactile phrametus is a palpable vibration of a chest wall resulting from speech. Tactile phrametus may be performed in two ways. The first way is to place ulnar surface of your hands against the patient's chest wall and ask them to repeat phrase 99. 99. 99. 99. The second way is to place palma surface of fingers and ask patient to repeat the phrase 99 again. 99 Repeat the test on the anterior thorax. Tactile phrametus is increased by conditions which cause the lung to become more solid, for example, consolidation. Tactile phrametus is decreased from the conditions that decrease the transmission of the sound waves, such as emphysema. Examine chest expansion from side to side. Ask the patient to take deep breaths in. Place both hands on patient's chest and examine symmetry of form movement. If the expansion is decreased unilaterally, this might indicate consolidation or collapse. Decreased chest expansion bilaterally might indicate conditions such as COPD or pulmonary fibrosis. I will continue the examination by percussing the posterior and an anterior thorax in a systematic manner, going from side to side as I move down the thorax. Percuss from the apices to the bases of the lungs. Locate any areas where you can hear any abnormal sound. Normal lungs are resonant. Hyperresonant might indicate pneumothorax, whereas dull percussion sounds are associated with consolidation and collapse of the lungs. Then repeat the process on the anterior thorax. Finally, listen to the patient's lungs using the stethoscope. Ask patient to take deep breaths. 
Listen directly on chest with the diaphragm of the stethoscope. Listen to the chest anterior and posterior thorax from side to side systematically. Listen to a full cycle of inspiration and expiration. There are three different types of normal breath sounds. Bronchial. These can be heard on anterior thorax only, as they are mainly heard on tracheal area. Bronchial breath sounds can be described as high pitch and loud. Bronchio vesicular. These can be heard anteriorly between first and second intercostal spaces and posteriorly between scapula. Finally, vesicular breath sounds. These can be heard on the peripheral lung field and they're typically low pitch sounds. And this is how bronchial breath sounds look like. This is how bronchial vesicular breath sounds look like. And this is how vesicular breath sounds look like.